more. Ooh. No more. Sorry, nerds. Cook something yourself. Get just, something yourself. Just order some Domino's Logic. for your boy. Give me some cinnamon sticks, man. It's been a hot minute. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. And then go to the gym to burn it off, you know? Well, I, was, I was told I should eat some more so I you know, get a little bigger. Yeah, get crazy. Some, gonna get some meat on your bones. But hey, man, if you're one of these two, uh, you're going you're gonna to just use the money you won tonight to get some meat on your bones. Because this is minimum third place right now in Losers Finals. Seagull versus ZD. And already, Seagull is taking a pretty good lead, getting that percentage. And ZD opting to go Wolf right now. Different matchup, of course. Different from his usual Fox. Yeah, I mean, he, he he saw that Wolf just worked for one player. He said, hey, I can do it too. Unfortunately, it's not working out at the moment. Oh, and that fade back to avoid the Pillar of Light was smart stuff. And what type of jank hitbox was that? Yeah, Seal just went off and just got kind of kicked he in the mouth. teleported into the stage. That was wild. That's, uh, I don't think that's as Sakurai intended, but that's just me. We're, we're never know what the wise man. The dragon up there doesn't get the last final hit to kill ZD, so he's still living. It. Oh, okay. Mark my word. Commentator's okay. curse. He's making it. Okay. Back air does the trick. That is a meaty shield. Hits pretty hard. Like the chimney, got the grab. This man has nice movement. Doing a great job. How are you getting back? The dash attack on the reverse side instead of something like down smash, unfortunately. Tries to get up attack, ZD fully prepared for it. And Siegel hasn't gotten any extra credit yet. This could be big, but just like that. Finds, you know, it was only 5% though, so yeah, it's not just, too bad Just yet. a little bit, nothing crazy. Oh, nice. but it's getting crazy. Yeah, see, now it's starting to get pretty good. Back air, will it kill at this percentage? Wow, not yet. I can't believe you lived that. Trying to find someone like that Nair coming off stage to find something, get himself on the board, but not yet. Eagle is, he is just playing on another level today. I don't i don't know what it is about tonight. I think he, I think he was mad that he had to fight his way from losers to get into the top eight. He's like, this is not me. I'm Seagull Joe. Well, he's, he's showing it right now. He's playing so well. Yeah, he's on a killing spree, taking out big names in losers bracket. And right now, ZD might be the next on his hit list. Back throw won't do it at that percentage at that point. Explosive flame not catching him either. Nice air dodge by ZD, but how many times can you do it? Run off Nair does the trick. That was such a good sequence from Siegel. Down tilt, fair, down tilt, fair, down tilt, okay, Nair. And like, <laughs> just let this be it. Oh, that win box almost spelled trouble for ZD, but he's still living. But for how long is the question? Because I mean, he's, he's not quite getting the traditional tech chase punishes that we traditionally see ZD get. And that might pose an issue. Nice parry, but nothing off of it. Just the song and dance back and forth. It's the game of least commitment. These guys not trying to get married, but whoa, Wolf Flash coming in nice and strong. Lasting hitbox on Nair. Kind of keeps adding more percent. And now Seagull is within the, the death zone of Wolf. Is he even going to get the chance, though? Because Seagull is playing so conservative, getting that extra percent bit by bit, making it harder for him to survive. Yeah, Siegel, he's not taking any risk. Just hopping uh, hopping up and over at ZD's nice tootsies. That up tilt not killing. They're not going to do it. Tried to get the up tilt, but, you know, Siegel had enough time to shield. And now, your ZD, like, how do you finish this? You have him at 150, absolutely, but you're, are you dead? You are you're dead. dead. Oh, my God. You don't even have to you're finish it. You're extra dead. You go to game two. Wow. You're dead dead. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles. But hey, there's always game two. Maybe ZD's going to go to Fox instead. You know, he's his big boy main. St uh, spacey still, but right, plays different. Me. I'm about to convince somebody to go to Wendy's. Hold on one second. <laughs> Late night Wendy's is the move, but switching characters is not. All right, let's see. Game two. Will this change? Will ZD find something different? A different pep in his step? We go into town and city, slightly different stage. A little bit smaller blasts on the side, higher ceiling makes it so that uh, makes it so that your boy can't get an up air, but Wolf back air will kill. A lot easier. And already you can see a little bit of difference between these two. ZD finding a little bit more footing, but Seagull is not giving him a lot. My first Wendy's attempt did not work. There's always more, my friend. There's always more. I might have to settle for the vending machine honey bun. Quite unfortunate, but hey, you just gotta give it a fighting game nod. Oh my, is that it? 
Turn around, got the grab. Okay, nice stuff. Forward air, rinse and repeat. The explosive flame is there. ZD, what do you do? How do you get, get up back? attack? No. Forward throw off stage. Is he going to get hit? Runoff Nair I does love the it. trick. And it's, it's he, he kind of baited out just a little bit. He said, hey, here's a down tilt. So you better you better come up immediately now. Oh, but trading stocks. Wow. Now ZD has found some fire in him. Okay. That first game was not looking good for him, but evening up stock counts like that is a good way to get yourself on the board. Now, something similar did happen against Dexter, and he was 3-0'd, but he is looking significantly better right now. Autoradical coming out, but he still has the jump, getting himself back safely. But you can't, you're going to get grabbed by the mighty range of Palatina. You see the hitbox on that thing? That grab is huge. It's, it's a nice move. It's a nice move. It's a good she, button. She grabs with her stab. That's what it feels like. Yeah, she, it's, like a, it's like a cane, and she's hooking you in. So what's going on, Scorpio? I mean, hey, get over here one way or another. You're going to get hurt. Okay. Z Z yeah, a little overzealous. Seal has been doing a lot of weird down smashes lately. He did one right before that didn't work, but, you know. A pillar Whoa, of light. What a trade. This man's smash attack game has leveled up, and you can see it in action. I'm mad ZD tried to actually kick it. He's like, yo, I could, I could break these cuffs. What, what's a little bit of light to my foot? Uh, evidently a little bit too much for him, but hey, his foot hits back pretty hard. And again, a second back here to get that second stock in this game, too. Seagull just reading so well. Just all the situations, he's just fully prepared for it. Yeah, ZD is looking a little bit lost right now. Okay, is this is this him waking up, or is he rubbing sleep from his eyes? Is he going back to sleep, or is he opening? He went back to sleep, he went back to sleep. Like, he, he, he rubbed his eyes, and then he rolled over. He's down but not out. Is he hitting snooze on the alarm and waiting until game three to get up, or is he up now? Oh no, he's hitting that snooze button when game three comes is when he's waking up. I'm thoroughly impressed right now with Seagull. I'm going to just say what, call it what it is. The man's on a mission. If you get knocked at early losers like that, you're, you're kind of mad. All right, so I'll be right back. Let me go check out this vending machine, honey bun. This man's working hard. This man's trying to get some grub. Low-key, I am also very starving, but I'm a committed man to the cause. Don't let Logic know, but you can tell I'm more committed. Just got to do it to him like that. And now it looks like, yeah, ZD went off somewhere. Did he Did he get Pink Fresh's controller? Is he actually... Yeah, is he... It, maybe the controller is the issue for ZD tonight because he is... He's switching controllers. He's using Mr. Fresh's instead. Maybe that could be the difference. Maybe that could be how he levels up tonight. We will see. Interested to see if that does make the difference. Town and City is the name of the stage. Is he going to go Fox? Is he going to go Wolf? Stick into that Wolf. He finds it to be the best option available for himself. And so is, is ZD waking up now, or is, uh, is it night-night for him? Is he going to bed permanently? Immediately starting out, hard hits from Seagull. ZD biting back a little bit, had the claws are out, but not a lot so far to prove that he is ready to go. Prove that the controller was a difference or was it all a fluke? Oh my god, the double parry. Seagull knows who's in charge. That's pretty snazzy. Right now, Zegel, uh, this is such a close game between the two. Maybe the controller really was the difference. No pillar of light coming to snuff out ZD's life. The recovery, nice and getting back. No side platforms just yet as they're rolling in in style. Another parry coming out between these two, duking it out and back with his honey bun. See, this man's 2-0 in the honey bun right now. All right, how's the honey bun? Is it, is it a good matchup for you? Um, it's solid. You know, my only complaint is that it's supposed to be $1.50. I paid with a card. They definitely charged me an extra 10 cents. Hey, man. It might be the card charge, but boom. ZD kind of given a, a stock tax to Seagull. He's like, all right, I've, I've done enough sleeping around. You owe me this. I mean, that's that. you did say he was waking up game number three. Oh, he's looking awake right now. Oh, why, why, is it, why is he skating like that? My man, my man is moving now. He's starting. Yeah, he has a little bit. If this is the do or die moment. This man's got to get up. Yeah, why do I feel a forwarder back here? Oh, oh, down okay. smash instead. Never mind. My what I should have felt was a three stock maybe because my man ZD is putting his name on it. 
Yeah, he is. Uh, he's feeling himself a lot more. But that, that, not even that kick. Like she just like slapped him with her thigh, and it did it. That hitbox is a little bit jank. Gets the job done all the same. Yo, thick thighs save yeah. lives, bro. Thick thighs save lives. I can preach to that, my friend. But let's see if that saves Seagull's life here in Loser's Bracket and pole vaults him all the way to Grands versus Dexter. He's trying to do it, um, but he uh, not exactly in the best position. Oh, that turnaround grab, getting ZD, but a little bit by bit. This is looking very difficult for Seagull, but it's not all out of the realm of possibility. It depends on just how well he can play. And he still, he 100% has not given up. Yeah, you can see that he's fighting. It's, it's a very uphill battle, but it's still climbable. It's not vertical just yet. I mean, that's a goddess, even if it was vertical. Does it matter? You never know. She does have wings. She can't yeah. teleport. She she made other people fly. That like, is true. She canonically did make Finn Dark Pit fly. Oh, whoa. late on the nair, and whoa, at that, that moves so good, even when you... <laughs> it's like, let me just get back and let me push you all the way across stage. What? ZD's pushing you all the way across stage. Back air, coast to coast. That is... ZD on the map. That's a strong move. That's the man's strong woken move. up. So, good job to CD. One game down, two to go if he wants to find himself in grands. But hey, Siegel can always, you know, bite back, get that game four rolling. Hit ZD hard enough, make him go back to sleep. Yeah. Hit the snooze button for him. Put you ever do that before? Put, put uh, hit snooze on someone else's alarm? Yeah. Hit it on their alarm or just dismiss it? You're like, you know what, man? I no. woke up for this. I'm like, you, you should have woke up. It's been on too long. No. If you don't wake up after two minutes, bro, I'm turning it off. Three, I might wake you up. It depends on the day. That's on them. That's on me. I'm going back to this. I'm not even. I'm sleeping through it. Good night. If I don't have to get up, I'm staying in bed. But hey, man, ZD has to get up now if he wants to find himself in a comfortable position. He has two games to go. Let's see if Siegel will uh, kind of smother him a little bit, put the pillow over his head, saying, no, you go back to sleep. That's what it looks like he's doing right now. Fantastic start for Siegel, but ZD just raises the bar and says, okay. Yeah, I'll do you one better. Let me uh, let me level up a little bit. You're almost 78. Oh, yeah. now you're 87? You might we'll, die to a back air. Will Flash coming through, coming and powerful. But still, just that dance back and forth. Siegel finds himself on top for not for very long. Oh, no down smash two framing that teleport, but Siegel is still looking kind of tough. No dash attack, you're gonna get thrown all the way to the blast zone and get caught on that wolf flash as well, get caught on that uppy as well, and get caught with that nair. One more. No, apps not to just wow. He actually that that movement was really, really crisp from Siegel. I'm surprised the punish ended up being uh that particular tilt. Yeah, but oh, after all that hard work, your stock goes goodbye, and ZD now takes the stock lead. I hate to see it happen after working so hard for that, but yeah. that's life, man. Unfortunately. It was like they both were searched for diamonds. Seagull was there for like three days, found nothing. My man ZD was there for 10 minutes, like, this is for me? Hey, look, hooray. Is gold supposed to be this color? Looking nice. Oh my, that was so good the extra damage, the aggression coming in from ZD. It's like once he gets that first stock, he's like a shark that smells blood in the water. He just goes completely in. Yeah, but going a little bit too extra aggressive there means that Seal gets that punish with the grab. The train is a coming. Yep, Nair on Nair. Can he get another one? Yes, he can. Up air now, joining the mix, keeping ZD at bay. Dash attack just does a little bit to keep him off, but can he get something two frame? Yes, but the stock, not quite. That was movement from ZD. This man is uh, trying to claim that stock as hard as he can, but it's just not working out for him. 155% now. You need something, boy. Yeah, Seagull was searching, but ZD found it first. Yeah, fortunately for him. And now it is last stock for Seagull for now. Can ZD keep this train moving, get himself into this game five? He, oh, that, that was tried. really genius. He tried. I was like, is he going to go for a second down? Or he's like, no, I'm going to spike in a different way. It didn't pan out, but like the aggression, the option, ZD, it, it was so good. Yeah, no jump now. Can he get back? The uppy instead of the wolf flash to mix it up. But what? You just ran into forward smash, my friend. That's not the way to do it. It really looked like ZD was above it, like in a, a position where he wasn't going to get clipped by the wings. But Seagull's going to take that trade all the way to the back. Palatine is a goddess. Hit, hitboxes do not matter to her. She will find a way, and you will die that way. 
coming in now. Get up attack. Not connecting. Oh, the force palm coming in from Wolf. ZD wants to finish this now before he finds himself with a bronze medal. Interesting recovery with Upbeat, but it's enough to shake Seagull up. Oh my goodness, just like that, he is shaking it up, but still not enough to kill. Can he get the two frame or anything? No, goes for that up tilt, not able to find its mark. Seagull Joe at 138, definitely put on notice. ZD only at 49, he's looking so healthy. Yes, he is, uh, he's doing just well for himself. Just the dash dances, trying to find some mix up. The scoop up will back throw do it? With all those pummels? Yes, it will. And now we are going to game five between these two. That would be so depressing, to be honest, if I was a uh, seagull in that scenario. Because, yeah. like, you, you, you displayed the patience as ZD ran back and forth and tried to bait a roll. And then he up smashed and he, he spot dodged before you got the punish. He's like, God damn it. And maybe that controller was all the difference. You know, the pink fresh controller coming in clutch for ZD had to switch it after game two. And now he's up, you know, 2 2. Seagull, uh, Pink Fresh's controller might just be what he needs to claw his way to victory. I wonder how much he's charging for. I mean, they're buddies. Do you charge your buddies for stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna need ten percent. Can't do it. Can't do a friend a good deed. You made more money with my controller. I mean, that ten hey, percent compared to what you you gained so much more. That ten percent's minor, man. All right, but also, let's see. I actually don't let anybody use my controller. I'm weird. I've also, I also saw you after game one make an entirely new rule set for yourself. Uh, I have different controls for Olimar. Just make them both at the same time. That was. Uh, I didn't plan on going. Uh, I wasn't. I was going to stay Joker the whole time, but he chose Lilac. Uh, yeah. And I was like, Nah, bro, I'm not. Mm, you gonna choose Lilac? I gotta bring out the Olimar now. All right, but these guys switched to their characters through and through. ZD not bringing out Fox at all for this set, but they're still just going to PS2 in Town and City. I don't know what it is about like Seagull, ZD, and Dexter, but they basically only go to these two stages. I've seen it happen time and time again these past few weeks, and it is uh, pretty crazy. It's their their gentlemen. They're like, yo, if we're going to practice together, we need one rule. Only these stages. Nothing else. Oh, ZD, nice. Seal jumps back in his chair because that F tilt was just too strong. It hurt him in real life. Seal now gets a grab on ZD. No, no tech, but that down smash doesn't get it anyway. The roll back from ZD keeping himself alive. All right, back throw, not enough to kill, but hopefully this edge guard will do the trick. Yes, wow. it will. That was phenomenal. Yeah, Pillar of Light has been uh, paying dividends for Seagull this set. Just the entire setup, the the way the chess pieces kept moving for Seagull Joe, just to put ZD in that checkmate um, scenario. Yeah, this man's secretly Bobby Fischer. He's thinking too many steps ahead. Let's see though, ZD is kind of the Magnus Carlsen himself because he is fighting back pretty well, considering himself a pretty solid champion here. Literally anyone's game right now, pretty much even, you know, 1% separate both these players. Game number five, loser finals. Yeah, this is as uh, this is as close as you can really get. These guys love playing it close. And they're going tip oh for a Oh my goodness. Until. ZD now has found himself the mentally stronger of the pair. But can Seagull bite back before it is too late? After something like that, that, that had me a little bit shook. That was, uh, that was a read and a half. It was it was nice. Like, it was it was fantastic. Good up smash coming in from ZD. He is really starting to walk it home. Everything's going his way. Seagull struggling to just get on the stage. Damn it! Yeah, he just he cannot find himself back. He's down so much right now, and now ZD is moving in front of him. He's dancing. And now you could tell that like Seagull, not quite as confident as he was earlier. Yeah, that he is now playing more scared than he was when he came into this set. He wants his back throw so bad. There's no way he's going to give him a back throw. Yeah, he is not getting that close. Will Nair do it? Not quite. Nice use of deflecting back to ledge, but that back air snuffs it out. And now this is last stock game five. It is now looking great for Siegel, but ZD has the chance to get this and move on to Grands. Yep. Still doable for Siegel. It's really going to have to start with a Nair, um, either a Nair or a grab if he ever gets a chance, because he, he needs that 40% to really start anything. It's true. Get up attack, though, works out for him. Gets a Nair, gets that fair. Oh, no up air? OK. I, I, I was expecting the up air. Oh, the up, up tilt. Up tilt, okay. yes. ZD, and you know, the reverse, take it. Yeah, the reverse 3-0.